and that is something to look forward to. Three point lead by Derby Ace, and when we begin the second half, we get a short while. Better than this. What a blow! Uh, as we mentioned earlier, grabbing his 2,000 defensive rebound and enjoying this moment, this milestone. Well, so, I was talking to his dad earlier. Uh -huh. Kalo has been here in the Philippines for quite a while. He used to be based uh, in uh, California, where he always picks me up, takes me <laughs> out to eat to one of the beaches. There was this great seafood. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very proud. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. There's a million dollars in the apartment there, on the beach front. And you also see some of the other, you know, basketball camps there in the middle of it. Okay. There's one there. Here we go with our second half of play. Glad you're with me and the doctor. We've got Magu as well as Dominic. And Meg is... I like the way he's feeling good about himself and going at it full throttle actually. Maganda talaga linalaro ni Eric here and that's the reason why John has decided you're going to be my starting center, keep yourself out of all trouble. You're going to have to play a lot of minutes for this team right now. Mech with a 17 point game. Penetration, follow up work. Davis now with six. Hatfield, Bischoff, Rivas stepping in the path of the pass. Ball is down on the ground and... Well, uh, number 99, Rudy Hatfield. That's his third. They give a foul on Hatfield. Well, it hurts because that's the third personal foul, you know. Hatfield is a hustler. Goes for every ball that he can, you know. Gives them a lot of spunk. They don't want this guy to be, to get, be picking up his fourth foul. He's doing a good job against Cliff Brown. Ends up being handcuffed defensively. Here's Rivas popping out. Brown trying to seal Menk inside. Mayor Hopper gets it instead. Head and shoulder fake. Here's Brown with a turnaround. Short. Gets his own miss, however. Makes a decision to go again to the basket, but crashes to the floor. That could be in Hatfield again. And that's going to be number four of him. It's a warning on that field, I think. No, no, that was just flapping. That yep. was in the foul. And that shot is going to count there for Cliff Brown. This is the reason why Derby is misses Kirby so much. Because if, if you play small forward or power forward, you have a scorer. You have a big scorer that can score inside and outside. With this lineup, they don't have a scorer from the outside. Yes, no cannon from the to uh, provide the artillery from outside before the uh, ground troops can make the attack. And Brown also dominating the rebounds, especially the defensive boards. Five-point lead for Derby Ace. Roger decided against shooting that one. So that's a three-point shot, you know, he doesn't take too many of that. Shot clock coming down to six. James trying to make a decision. Tubit says thank you. Got it. Tubit picks it up on the ground. Actually, these two are very good friends. So they are from the Visayas. Oh. From the Visayas. Uh, <laughs> oh, <nga pala. laughs> I saw them in the All-Star game and they were almost always together. You know? Yeah, below yeah. Uh, oh. oh. Especially when they're on the court. Uh, yung mga iba kasi hindi naman sila kasaling events. But uh, they were always, uh, you know, talking with each other, kidding the others. You know. You know, that's why I guess the All-Star game, we still play it, still have it. You know, it's you a celebration. To, you have to have it. First of all, it's a chance for the crowd to see the conglomerate, uh, the conglomeration of all those stars. Pangalawa, camera din ng players yan. Ito naman si Brown, forever nag-offensive rebound hanggang magdamag. Ayun, pumunta sa lahat. Ayun, more give me five. Oh, masasakit doon. I wanna stay. I wanna stay. I know, man. I'm only going home, man. Let me stay. Well, effort naman. Oo naman, oo naman. But there is also a lot of things that you can carry the team. Derby is beginning to pull away here. 55-48. A full timeout requested by Barangay Hinebra. the halftime break coach Ryan Gregorio reminding his boys that they need to box out the Barangay Hinebra Jinkings and control the boards also they need to be able to make those jumpers in the elbow because nag iba yung defensa nitong Jinkings also he said you know keep the game simple just move the ball around and just have fun 
and Brown takes care of the free throw. Thank you, Dominic. Uh, 11 uh, points and 7 rebounds so far for the import of Derby Ace. Well, he finished the first half with 6 and only 3 rebounds, so he's doing a lot of damage for his team here in the, at the start of the third quarter. And Roger Riaf gets his second personal foul. 56-48 is our count, by the way, on Wednesday, May 12. We get back into the groove of things of the Fiesta Conference classification round. Baraco Coffee uh, comes back to play. And they played Barangay Ginebra. Baraco Coffee, of course, um, won against Alaska. And Alaska will face Santa Lucia in our second game here at the Araneta Coliseum. Ball game now at 56, 59 and 10 remaining. We're in the third quarter. And if you missed our first game because you were on the way home from a great Sunday, we're enjoying Mother's Day. Big win earlier by Raynor, shining overtime against Air 21. Turn around by Brown, won't stay down. Being fought for, could be... Oh, they give it to Eric Mink. Mink, yes. Both of them holding their breaths. <laughs> Both of them sporting the number uh, 30. I didn't do anything. <laughs> and of course, Kate Brown, he didn't want to pick up his fourth foul. Not now. Especially when he's beginning to get hot here. And when the seal there against Eric Mink. Oh, and the two are Turnaround won't stay in that outside shot. We really got the Mayor Hopper praying. That's outside already. And Rivas slams the ball in frustration because they couldn't hang on to it. So you can see the dominance of the uh, rebounding department in favor of Derby Ace here in the third quarter. They've just been losing it and picking up those offensive boards. Two bit in the box, the dance. Can't produce anything, and look at that rebound picked up by Rivas. Rivas with his fourth rebound of the game. Mayor Hoffer, 10 seconds to make a decision. Willie really Wilson, by the way, is in the ball game for, uh, for Hatfield. Oh, miss from the outside there. Good rebound there again by Ambrose. Now, uh, the point you made about the absence of Kirby Raimundo so obvious here at this point because that outside artillery shot from the top of the key not there for Derby Ace even an inside foray that won't work picked up nonetheless yeah, showing a lot of composure under fire 14 points in the ball game 13 rebounds already here for Ambush 56-52 indeed four point lead this Roger James Chap has hardly Managed to get a firm grip on the ball. Here he is now. Goes to Mayor Hopper. Top of the keyhole. 18-footer. Can't stay down. Hands get entangled. It is a foul against Brown. Well, they were holding each other. They're both uh, Eric Mack and Brown. But Brown now picks up his fourth personal foul. Referee Ngo was impacting about yeah. it. He knew it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he, he, what he saw was Brown pushing on Eric and then Eric holding him down. And now the Barangay with an opportunity to knock on the door. They're down by four with seven and ten remaining. Third chapter. Mank makes his move. Find space. Bumped on the way in. You know what you're go he's going to do, but you just can't stop him. He's not going to take a jump shot once he starts his dribble. What he's going to do is going to lean on you and shoot that uh, right-handed hook shot of it. You're like the... You, you can imagine the feeling of cement being... <laughs> run over by a bulldozer, and the inevitable will happen. Well, Eric and Asi are two of the toughest guys there in the center slide. And I ask it out loud and Eric, man, they're really very tough there. And yes, very did. experienced. Revis and Brown get a breather here. And we have Aliado back in the game together with Penguins. Magu is, as always, in all black, but he's ready to give you a colorful report. Over at the Hinebra side, where Kings were reminded to play with better, dis better discipline on offense as they have yet to hit a three-point shot. That is just until now. And over at the other end on defense, they just got to work on the transition D. And the guards were reminded to start fronting when they get posted up. Seth? Thanks a lot. We're tied. Uh, 